You must be hearing the term SHVS being bandied about quite a lot recently, especially after Suzuki has launched the new CS diesel. But what exactly is SHVS? Welcome to Mold Describe Simplify. Now, how does Suzuki claim that the CS diesel gives 28 kilometers to a liter? Well, thanks to this SHVS tech, it might actually be possible. Keep listening and we'll explain what SHBS does, how it works, and why it's beneficial for you. SHBS is very simply just an acronym for Smart Hybrid Vehicle by Suzuki. Let's take a look at how it works. On a very basic level, to understand all this technology, we just need to concentrate on the four wheels of the car and the front and rear axles that power them. There are four important components that all hybrid car systems work to optimize. First you've got the engine, then you've got the electric motor, you've got a battery pack and a central control unit which communicates between all three. On a quick fact side note, just in case you want to sound quite smart when you're talking about this later, there are four major hybrid systems out there. The first is called a series hybrid. The second, a parallel hybrid, and the third is a micro-hybrid technology, which is what we've been seeing on Indian cars. This is when the controller shuts off the engine when the vehicle comes to a stop and starts it up again when the clutch is depressed. And then you've got the mile hybrid system, which is what the SHVS works on. Now we've told you about the four com components that power a hybrid car. Let's look at the CS specifically. It's got a 1.3 litre diesel engine. It's got what they call an integrated starter engine, which is basically the electric motor we were talking about earlier. And it's got the battery pack and their own control unit, again, which communicates between the three. So under normal operation, the CS runs power off its diesel engine, just like any other car. But the electric motor, or ISG, assists the diesel engine. For example, when you're accelerating, the electric motor kicks in and assists power to the diesel engine, which reduces the load of the diesel engine. This obviously means less consumption of diesel. Now the electric motor also recharges the battery pack. When the car slows down or brakes, the electric motor runs in reverse, driving power to the battery and keeping the battery charged up. But how does this help conserve fuel? Well, for example, if the car is at a stoplight, the controller tells the diesel engine to stop running and the battery pack takes over and powers, say, the air conditioning, which might still be running. And in Indian city stop and start traffic conditions, this is quite obviously helpful. So, the obvious advantages to SHVS, one, fuel efficiency, as we've just described, score one for your wallet. Two, Emissions are cut because your fuel engine doesn't run when the vehicle is at a stop. Score one for the environment. So, thanks to this efficient, balanced use of electric and fuel power, the car does indeed return a very efficient 28 kilometers of road for just one liter of fuel. Quite impressive. But probably the greatest advantage of a hybrid car is the initial cost to the customer. What you may or may not be aware of is that vehicles in India are subject to a whopping 24% excise duty, which is obviously passed on to you. But thanks to the government's green initiatives, vehicles with hybrid technology are only subject to 12.5% excise duty. Now Suzuki passes these savings directly back to you. Score 2 for your wallet. That is, if your missus hasn't seen this video as well. So that's simplified by Motoscribes.